This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone, I'm Srinivas and Srinivas Gurupati. As part of this video, I want to present regarding a dynamic measure selection in a power BI. We are getting a lot of requirements where the user wanted to select a measure and that measure to be populated as part of a visual. By default, we are going to give the input as a static, which means the visual what it is going to present, we are going to give a static fit. Based on user selection on a different dimensions, it is going to slice it. But the customer want dynamically change the value, dynamically switch the value one KPI to another KPI in the same visual. So how we can achieve that one in a Power BI we are going to see. So here I have a visual which is conveying state wise sales amount. My customer want, they want to represent a sales amount or the number of transactions based on their interest. So I created two KPIs, two measures. One is a sales, the second one is a number of transactions. Currently sales was selected. So to enable dynamic se selection of a measure, you need to create a table which contains that has a dimension. So I create a table which contains which contains a two values. One is a dollar, the second one is a hash. So now I have a requirement that if I select a dollar, sales amount need to represent. If I select a hash, the number of transactions to be represent. So now how to create that one is, you need to create a one master measure. You can create one master measure. Here we are going to use a if function. If we need to specify that table, the table name here, like we are going to create a measure. Here, if of selected value of selected value of a table of column, you need to mention the column name. The selected value is a function which is going to return, which is which is going to return whatever the value that you selected, which is nothing but if you select only one value that is going to return. Otherwise, you can mention whatever the alternative value that you want to return. So, the selected value of column name I specified. If you select a value is equivalence to a hash, then I want to return the count. You have an option called the number of transactions which is nothing but number of transactions whether is there you can specify that one otherwise otherwise i want to return a sales amount so i just mentioned as a sales so why i mentioned this one is i have a business requirement that by default value is to be sales which means if you're not selecting anything, sales. And if you select a number of transactions, number of transaction, if you select a sales, sales I want to represent. So default case, else case I mentioned as a sales. So I created that measure now. Now, that is fine. Uh, I created a measure. Now I'm replacing a static sales with the dynamic method that we created. 
and now you can choose a slicer a slicer and which is going to get a selected value so here i selected that dimension the orientation i'm mentioning it as a horizontal for it orientation horizontal now you can see you can set so whenever they select like a hash it is showcasing the number of transactions whenever you select dollar it is going to showcase the value sales amount so this is how you can make it dynamic so some people want mtd ytd qtd to be displayed a single visualization based on the selection the value need to change the same thing so it can be 2 or it can be 20 you are going to write a condition like this one master methods are going to create and dynamically you are going to change the value based on the selection of a slicer this is how you can create a dynamic methods you can present a dynamic methods as part of a visualization if you have any questions comment on this video we will respond on top of it thanks a lot for watching